Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session on Power Wash Simulator where in the previous episode we started cleaning the treehouse and well yeah we're still cleaning the treehouse. It is a very very large map and very intricate as well with all of these railings and such so <laughs> if we had to do a few very long episodes I'll split them down into uh, what we have done here. Either way obviously continuing on with the chill cleaning. In the previous episode we did manage to get a fair bit done, up to 49% I believe it was, and that included all of the top up uh, here, I'll just show you in a moment, all of the top up here, so obviously uh, the first episode got all of these cleaned out and all of the housing, and then we managed to do all of this upper deck railing and the flooring as well, and also the spiral staircase which is situated here, so you can see there really is a complete difference, absolutely night and day there, so nice and satisfying to get it done, but obviously very, very intricate. In this episode, more of the same and cleaning. I want at minimum, I would like anywhere, to get this section done and then down here as well. But obviously it's all of this lattice work so it will take quite a pretty large amount of time. I don't think we'll get all of it done in this episode. In fact, all of the uh, treehouse done so this may even be a four part but we'll see how we get on. Either way we'll continue on with the cleaning. There hasn't really been much more to speak about since the last couple of videos so we'll just be sort of cracking on and get this cleaned. So, as before, we are working on uh, the the railings here first. We're going to obviously get a bit of overspray in place. As you can see, I'm attacking it from multiple angles here just to try and get rid of that dirt and grime and mildew that's on the sides here. We will have to go with the scaffolding on the outside, but I'm hoping to get as much as I can, obviously, from this side as well. And you can see we've got like, all of this to cut in. In fact, what I might do is just cut in around this thing. I've done the staircase here already. I actually started doing that thinking, ah, it's going to be quite a long job, and then before you knew it, it was uh, pretty much done, so <laughs> there you are. You can see we're getting a bit of overspray then. It's going down to the to the bottom bit. As we obviously work our way down, it should get easier because we are close to the ground, but then again, whether or not that actually happens, we shall see because, well, there's a lot of the roof to do as well, which seems to be like quite a difficult task, but obviously the fun will be in finding out, and we'll see if we get that done sooner rather than later, but there you are. This seems to be cleaning up quite nicely as well, making the effect we've got going here, so that's good, we'll just keep on working on this. Working on the outside, and then I'll do all of the, I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll clean all of these here, and then I will jump onto that there most likely, and then clean from the outside in because that will then get some overspray onto things like this and the ground and such. So it'll just help us out a little bit there. So I'll just do it that way perhaps and then see how we get on with it. I know there's been some call to use some cleaner and I've been saving it for <laughs> for an unknown reason. I don't know. I'm just I'm, uh, The cleaner's much better now. I, I very much like the, the updates to the cleaner. Um, the fact that you can't buy like loads of it is a, is a bit strange. That's a bit of a requirement there that I don't know is necessarily necessarily wanted, but there you are. Um, it's, you know, limited buy and all that. But it is a lot more effective now, but as we've seen in previous previous missions and such, it can be a little bit problematic to get everything because even if you're spraying like in and around places where you think it's got 100% clean, you work to the other side and oh look, it's uh, it's not clean anymore. That stair rail says it's almost clean and oh actually look at, look at all that on there, the steps are yeah they're very 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 dirty so what I'll do is I'll see if I can clean the steps from up here. I assume cleaning these steps like this should get us the required amount there and if that right there you go there's that stair rail there so it looks like it was just oh there you go that's actually very easy so i happy with that. So I'll just clean from the side and then clean from this side oh yeah that's done as well and don't particularly want to attack that now. I think we're going to go further down and we'll, like I say, we'll bring bring this over. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to put it in about there. That should suffice, I think. And obviously up to the up to the first floor that works. We're up the second one. That is actually a lot worse. So I'm going to stick here. So we'll work from that side and work along. And obviously there's the underside as well of this one. We should be able to attack it from the ground floor, but we will have to see about that one. And yeah, let's just go from that side and work our way along. This is on a a 53% cleaning. Obviously, you can you can sort of skip ahead if we need to, but we're going to go for the 100% premium AAA extra finished surface. 
whatever that means. And there we are. This really is well. You can see we're getting some more whisper. We do. Oh, we do not have a rail here, so I can't, I could fall off. I know a couple of people were saying in the comments about them getting it, it's quite unnerving, unsettling going right to the edge, knowing there's that big drop. And I actually, strangely, was experiencing that as well. And I don't know. Normally, it's not this. Not not me in this sort of thing. Well, in any game, I don't experience that. But yeah, there was a an element of that which I I also like to say was experiencing. It's very strange. Very strange. Anyway, we think need to. Have another look at the other side because this is all clusters. Is this clusters of one? The other side of this, I don't think it is. So we may have some problems here. Uh, another problem we have as well is that obviously I've turned this round and it seems slowly working down there. Uh, the problem I'm experiencing here is that this should be the other way around, like that, because then the open side with the least amount of like. Stuff stopping it is there. I thought what I'm going to do is pick it up and rotate it and bring it back a little bit. Just so we are, yeah, that's a bit better. We can attack that much easier without blocking the shots and all of that. Because obviously the railing was starting to block that. So we just work our way up. Just trying to find the edge here. There we are, found the edge. And then work our way across that. And once we've done this, we'll have a look at maybe doing the. doing that there as well. So we'll see how we. That. We might be able to get this done. Yeah, that's fine. Just want to go over here and. Oh, yeah, I was going to say there's a huge jungle I would have missed, but uh, that's now done. Um, I want to try and get this this edging done here, and I assume if I just work away, work along like this, that'll get it done. It's all fast as one, I believe. The distance is not ideal. Yeah, you can see we're having some troubles with that. So hit it with that. Yeah, and that's all clean as well. Not this side. Right. Done. Good. Okay, so there's all that done. We'll treat ourselves to a bit of sign cleaning. Just stay out and keep away the other one. There we go, and then, eh, why not, we'll do these as well. Warning, private property. You see we're sliding downhill slowly. The game does have a, a weird thing with that, I don't know why. I'm kind of sliding around and such. Like that, and then we'll do this one. We so do kind of slide around in places, which is very strange. No visitors. No, we're not visitors. We've been employed to come here. I guess we are technically visiting, but I think it means no unscheduled uh, visitors. Right, let's clean the workbench. Oh, that's satisfying doing the back there. This is research table. Okay. Fair enough. It's a research table, apparently. That device is that? Oh, it's a wooden vice. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the short extension just because, as we're getting close in, you've seen there it was stopping us from from cleaning. That's a bit problematic, so make it easy on us. Yes, got surface like that. Very satisfying. And we'll work our wheel. And then down there. With the grain of the wood. With the layout of it as well. Look at all of that. And that's as well. Little pigs there. I don't there's any rust, but we'll do this side as well. There we go. Right. Oh, a little bit there because there's like a lip. We'll do that side as well. Um, we'll change stance and we'll clean the ball of it.
it's all one, this thing, so you don't have to clean a look at it, multiple pieces of it. So just to clean one bit. Before things pass as bench, you don't have to build like the bed. Clean like the the legs and then the struts across and everything else. on any second to do yeah under there so fill feet just get all that clean there don't know how the mildew and what must build up under here but there you are do this side as well a bit of overspray. Obviously it's hitting the floor there. See a bit of overspray, quite a bit of overspray actually. That should help us out in the long run. Just bits of that I've missed as well. And there we go. Right, let's do this floor. It shouldn't take much. I'm going to switch over to the green nozzle. Find that for this map with this floor, it is one of the better ones. Obviously, every nozzle can clean pretty much anything. It's just it's a matter of time. But this one, put the long distance one. Up. This one just seems to work quite well. So there, just enough power and reach to clean the bits we need to clean. Luckily the top and the bottom are different pieces for the purposes of percentage marks. So we don't have to clean here and then go underneath and then clean that. That would be, uh, yeah, not ideal. It doesn't really matter too much, does it? But I just prefer this way. There's a bit of there. I'm not going to fuss over too much. Let's just get this cleaned. Take us to probably 58% clean. Fifty-seven still. Alright, let's just keep working down. Back over to our 15 degree yellow nozzle. Cleaner's favourite. <laughs> Obviously these posts here are different design to the other one, these are spherical rather than rectangular. As, the moment, as far as the moment to moment goes of cleaning them, it's pretty much the same. We just attack it from multiple angles here. Um, for this one, I might change it up a bit and... Do I clean... We could possibly clean from the outside in to see what bonus that gives us. Do I want to do that? Uh, experience tells me it's probably not a good idea, to be honest. I don't think it is a good idea, actually. It was just a thought. Clean up on this side. We'll have to go outside to clean that, but we might be able to do just by standing on the ground. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. It's not amazingly efficient, but as you can see, it is... It's not amazingly efficient, but it is sufficient. There we are. And then the stairs as well. And again, not being too precious because, yes, yeah, as soon as you get to a certain point, we get that noise. I'm going to get that ting as well. I mean, we could attack it from outside first. 
if we wanted to. If we don't need to use the oh, it's done. Yeah, we don't we don't need to use the the ladders or the lifts or, or the steps, should I say, or the scaffolding. So yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll mix it up a bit and we'll attack it from this side. Because why not? There's probably many, many, many good reasons why not, but we're doing it nonetheless. Strange when we've got <laughs> most of this done, you can see we've got like a little bit in the middle there of each of those boards. It's not clean. <laughs> the press tab, there's still a little bit left, but not a huge amount. Especially considering we can, all of that now we can attack from the, from the side. Uh, Missing link fact, they deposit their scap on those much like a wild hog. Apparently they share an identical diet. Hmm. Talking about the Bigfoot or whatever it is. This is the uh, joist here, which I'm trying to clean, but there's a... They've strategically placed all these bits underneath, so we can't just walk in a straight line, which is... Oh, GG, devs, thank you. <laughs> um... And all this overspray will be going onto the underside of that. And you can see it's actually fairly, uh, I was going to say fairly clean. That's not true at all. It's uh, a lot cleaner than it was. <laughs> and even though there's only a tiny bit of spray going on that, every because we're doing multiple passes, it is getting cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. And it does save us a bit of a job. The job that I'm not looking forward to because if it was in real life, we would have serious neck and back problems looking up at that. For the most part, once we've done this little bit here, and the steps going up to it, like the rest of it, if you well, from top down, will look perfectly fine. It's just when you go into here and go, ooh. <laughs> and you know, I said, actually, it's not ideal. We're on three stars now. Uh, we're three thousand one hundred and sixty-two point three six. Do you know if you into the currency? Let's see what's happening from three angles. That on this side, if we can. Let's move it to the pivot. Go straight under here to go to these joists. Oh, that's the one or not? No, so we'll have to get this joist from the other side. It's fine, we'll do that later on. There we go. Bit horizontal and vertical. I don't know why I'm tempted to do that work. No rhyme or reason, really. And there's bits I can't really get from this angle. So I'll do that when I go to the other side. Don't see that rope's <laughs> dirty as well. The rope is dirty. <laughs> Doing the boards to clean it. Like, I've been just, I've been working along like that, doing the top of it. I wonder if just doing the boards like that would get the majority of what we need. It looks like it is actually. Yeah, I think it is. Well, that's some time that can be saved there. There are some bits that it's missing, but not enough to get upset about.
Especially considering whether I'm going to change angle and do that anyway. Yes, yeah, so you can do the boards like that. That's good. Alright. We should figure this out a long time ago, wouldn't we? Let's see what this side is doing as well. Forward to that. <laughs> that will be a job for future me. As always, future me, sucker, has to deal with all the stuff present me kicks down towards. Down the tracks. <laughs> right, so I think that is a decent first pass on that side. I wonder where that joist is not clean. Is all that one? I don't know. And I will care later. Right, up to the top then, and we start cleaning from this side. I wonder what it's going to do. Oh, that's why, because the joist up here is filthy. So as I'm cutting in on this. Hopefully we'll get the majority of it done. I'm just going to put in all the way around the bottom. I wonder if we're going to get any night maps. That'd be an interesting one, wouldn't it? Power washing at night. I don't know why you would need to power wash at night. But I guess it gives you options for like setting up floodlights and having a torch and things. I just don't know if it would add anything to the game other than more annoyance. Again, I think we're all open for ideas and options. As long as it's fun. I'm going to go down the bottom here because I want to. Doesn't matter. Done. I just want to make sure that, that joist was done. That joist's done. That joist's done. So is that. And so is that. Right. Good. Back to back to the cleaning of the decking. So we're going to stick with what I mentioned earlier about just doing the. The uprights. It's most of the overspray you get on that bit anyway. So if we have to come back, we'll come back. But realistically, if we're getting the majority of it off. We get that ting noise, and then it's pretty much done. Sixty-four percent cleaned. Not too bad at all. Just working on all these boards. Look at that. There's another metal thing over there, so that'll be a different, that'll be a different thing to clean. So far, what are my thoughts on this then? Um, it's not my favourite. Far from it. Um, it's it's going to be very satisfying. To see the end result is going to be very satisfying, and it's a case of the effort we've put in to clean it makes that reward sweeter. But, if I think about some of the maps that I've more enjoyed, it's been the. I guess that you could call it. I don't think easier is the right word because, well, the game isn't hard. <laughs> That's not the point. It's not as if we're trying to best a certain objective or anything like that. But the other maps, especially the ones with like the with the flatter surfaces, much more cathartic. Either way, we tend to gravitate toward those more. But it's nice to have a palette cleanser. This is different. It's all one thing. It is all one thing. Excellent. Right, so we've got the bench and we've got this. Let's. Clean the bench. This shouldn't take too long, this bench. Because even though it's got a couple of uprights and such, it is pretty much just three planks. 
of varying sizes. Where we can just stand next to it. Clean it like this. I'm just going to clean this to the middle. And I'll work on the other side for it. So this is a bit lower, you can stand next to it like that. Right. Sides. Again, that overspray is going to help us out later on. We might have to switch nozzles here. This is a picnic table, it says. So I think we're going to switch nozzles, uh, switch extension, should I say, just so we can just go pro. And let's be honest, let's just go straight pro. We're not going to bother over the crouching. We know there's just dirt under here. And we'll all have to be cleaned off. Right. And there we are. That side two. And there we go. Right, let's have a look at this thing. So this is the grill. Which is rusty. Don't think I would like to service this thing. Imagine being a. I was going to say a barbecue tech. Is this such a thing? Well, of course there will. There will be. There will be someone that services barbecues. I guess you would have to, especially in a industrial setting or a catering setting. You would have to be able to clean. And, you know, floor rates are correct and. Valve then stick in, burning correctly, burn efficiently. I mean, I'm making all this up, don't know. But, my point is, I was called out. Got a service call on this thing. Here you get this uh, barbecue up and running again. You turn up and it's like this, you go, yeah, I just buy a new one, mate, and walk off, get back in the van. <laughs> Early lunch. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is. As far as I can tell, a bit of a homemade one. Is it? Is that just an oil drum? Possibly. And again, again, an expert on barbecues. Not just consuming barbecue uh, food, but also on the manufacture of actual devices themselves. Side table and the gas bottles themselves are quite cleaning. Now, luckily, as far as I can tell, there's very little rust, if any, on this side table. Gas bottles done. There's one on you. So you are in need of cleaning that side. Yeah, I don't know where that needs cleaning. I'm curious. On this place as well. On this thing, should I say? Barbecue stand. Why can't that gas bottle be clean? That one there. Is it? There we go. Oh, there's like this little gap, I think. Is it? There we go. It's barbecue now. Barbecue drum it says. So this is a job for a cleaner, I think. So, switch to this. Change it from wood to metal. Just give it a hose down. And 
Are we good? Scissor some bits. The cleaner has not touch. And on the handle as well. Ah. Ah! Right under here. And in there as well. That should be it now. Cool. Right, back to the flooring. Switch over to our green nozzle once again. I wonder if the nozzles are cut. No, I can't be. I was going to say, I wonder if the colour code is so a green nozzle in general at a certain speed is good against the green mildew, whereas the orange is good for, like, rust. But I don't think that is the case at all. I'm just changing the colours just for preferences. It's for identification purposes. And we're on 68% clean. So coming up to a 4 star. A lot around here has already been cleaned. As we said, I was sort of looking forward to cleaning that barbecue. I thought that might be not interesting, but it's one of those ones where it's just... You have to get in between all the little bits and what as good as a fucking would be. I'm sure we all won't lose any sleep about it. Put the long nozzle on actually. That would be better for us. Yeah, that's better. Even with the long nozzle, though, you get a certain bit of wear and it stops cleaning properly. If you just get the right, if you get the right angle, that gives you the right speed. Because the more you look down, the slower you go. If you go at the right angle, you just get one pass. Like that. <laughs> Most of the wood around here has been cleaned anyway because of the overspray from cleaning the outside in on the railings and then cleaning in and around the barbecue. So I know there's some stuff under there, but that shouldn't matter. There we go. Seventy percent clean. This was one of the first big continent drops, so it's a big map for people to tackle. Just left this nice square patch in the middle, just for the sake of <laughs> quickly going through it like this. Even with this done, I don't think we'll be on completed. Just too many little bits around. Oh no, we got there. Okay, good. So, 70%. Um, obviously, the other side there we need to do. These are done. That joist is not. But, let's finish what I wanted to finish, which was the stairway up. So, all of these uprights here. It. More careful here because the rope and such can get in the way. Clean the rope as well. By the way, today's beverage is. 
Mm. Nice cup of green tea, but the coaster stuck to the bottom and when it dropped, I had a wee pan. steps because as we are cleaning all around this I'm using and going from this side we're gonna get so much overspray that a lot of them steps will be part cleaned especially down below so I'm not being too I say, bothered about hit him on the first instance. It's all class the staircase hand wheel. Yeah. Get underneath as well. There's that hand rail done. I'll now work from this side. Realistic. There's no great one to do after this. Well, there is. There's <laughs> a very decent percentage to do, but what I mean is, I think the bulk of the work is done. It certainly is done. 172%. Of course it's done. <laughs> it's almost uh, three quarters done, statistically, but a lot of the intricate stuff is done. So all the railings, all the fencing, all of those bits are sorted. Just the undersides. And the bits to look at. There, which I will attack from here. Yeah. And I'm cleaning the stairs from underneath. Because why not? Oh. Little bits that I've left. We can go to prone. And get right under there. Right in here. Before we've even really attempted, these things get in the way. Uh, up, up here, look at that. It's it's almost fully cleaned before we even start. And even if it's not fully cleaned, the bits that are remaining just require the briefest of passes to get sorted. <coughs> Water. Excuse me. One minute of sneeze. And I'm doing 73% close to getting this bit done. Ting, and there we go. Right. So, we've got underside. Underside, which is actually almost done if you look at that one. And then underside. Out of interest, how long would it take me to do this? Uh, the answer is maybe longer than you think. <laughs> we did attempt to clean one of these before. And the problem was that because you're looking up, it's harder to control. That joist there, that, see that says it's almost done. We've got bits here. Let me get that joist. Not working. Where's that done? Where's that joist done? Where's that done? Okay, so maybe what we do is we... Hell's bell. Uh, we attack the joist from one side, like this. 
We then do the other way. That. We can just stand here. Yeah. And cut into that joist. We'll do the same on this one. Very careful though. Done that side, and I'll do this side now, and you can see the huge bit we've got left. And it just means this. Now this it should mean now that just getting this bit done will get that ting noise. Nope. Still bits remaining. Wow. These are really difficult to get right. I mean, I'm pressing tab and I need to say there's almost nothing left to clean. Well, oh, but not for that. Where's the? Yeah, it's just that little. It's the combination of the distance and the way there's a like a very small lip along there. That's what it is. It's just bad for us. That's all. I'll do this. That was done nicely. Joists around here, I think, because I've got that. Is it just the ends? Could be. Could be just up the top there. Let me look down. Yeah, it's exactly what it's exactly what I thought it might have been. Okay, right. We got that done. Quick run around, can't see much else there. And we also got this edging to do as well. I think we'll leave that until next time. Let's just clean all this. That's satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> Balance steps, that was. Balance boards. Don't have to clean doors. Actually, you can see. Oh! Go straight through it. These things here. They, they don't have any hitbox. Go straight through. Sounds strange. Right, so tyres. I'm hoping you don't have to clean the inside, but it looks like you do. I'm just going to work on one. And I don't think you do have to clean the, uh, the inside. I should take the things off. Should finish them off before I move on to the next table. I be more efficient. tie while we're on. This one you do have to clean the inside of. Clean the rope while we're at it. Take a swing miss. I love the angle of the, the sort of back blast of it. See sort of fans around. Lovely. Here. 
And there's that tire done. All right, 76% cleaned, and I think we are going to leave it there. Not bad. Not bad. I actually got this and this area done a lot faster than I thought. Out of interest, we'll check details. Window frames. Look at that. It says it's, one of them isn't clean. So I've clicked on it. 99% clean. One of these ain't clean. See that? See it's like flashing? Like that. That's one of the new things with the patch. Middle deck rim joists. That. Okay. Sounds like a job for up there. So this is one of the new things that's added and it's, uh, it's very useful. And anything on Anything on 99% uh, or whatever, I will try and clean. It still is something you have to look for. It doesn't just give you the answers. Deck rim joists. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, fine. Yeah, we have to clean along there and such. And that'll be part of when we do up there. So I don't need to focus on that. Right, good. 76% cleaned. And I was, like I said, I was hoping to do this um, in this episode, but needs must. So we'll leave it there. Next episode, we will clean most likely this and then this. And that will be. A 100% completion on this thing. It's the longest one yet. And it's one of the most biggest and intricate maps. So it's understandable. And we'll most likely look at the... Uh, I think it's the RV. We'll check that out as well. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Power Wash Simulator. Hopefully it's been a chill one for you. As always, comment in the comments and we will go from there. And I've just realised there is a big sort of tarpaulin over this thing. <laughs> to keep uh, the sun off. And maybe that will even collect some water. Oh, that's nice. Either way, we're leaving it there for now. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.